Or just as updates, I don't know what they are. Oh, 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 that's, I, I thought it was Dolores Thomas one. No, no. So no. Okay, so that is, um, well, since you, um, were selectmen, I'm not doing my own searches anymore in the registry. We've hired a girl called Nancy D. Okay. She's an abstractor from Wakefield, and she does, she does all of our, um, searches. No. Uh, for mortgagees pertaining to tax liens. And that, of course, um, is reflected back to the property owner as part of the fees that they pay when liens are placed on the property. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was inputted when you were on your hiatus. Yes. No. If I might comment, this issue of the energy. We've invited SRPC to come here to do an energy audit on our buildings, including I asked, uh, I've asked Mary Lou for all of our tax bills for the previous year plus the first quarter of this year, tax bills, or energy, are the, bills. Uh, energy bills, so that we can have that data ready for when they start to do that energy audit. Because I want to look at this issue to be sure we're not wasting money. And Ed, go ahead. I should say right after uh, this, I could slip in and do this little presentation of mine about the energy uh, audit so we don't, so the meeting will flow. Sure. And so I will go home tonight, probably write the checks tonight and... Um, Bring them next two weeks? <laughs> I could, or we could do them sooner. Um, so they'll probably be here at the latest by morning. Okay. Thank you. Do you want his update on the election? He has an update on the. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Can we do it now? Yeah. Okay, come on up here. Yeah, well, hello. Uh, my name is Ed Camo. I'm your uh, representative on uh, the Stratford Regional Planning Commission. Uh, I was given a task recently by the selectmen to investigate how Brookfield can use the New Hampshire Energy Technical Assistance Program to help us save energy and tax dollars. Um, the Energy Technical Assistance and Planning for New Hampshire Communities, it's called ETAP, is a two-year program providing energy efficiency technical assistance at no charge to the municipalities and counties in New Hampshire. ETAP's goal is to advance energy efficiency in all New Hampshire municipalities and provide the tools communities need to monitor energy performance. ETAP is funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 and is administered through the New Hampshire Office of Energy and Planning. Now, we only have one more year of funding for this program. Now, what the program basically does is it um, allows you to do two things. You can just have them um, come and do an energy audit. They'll do a walkthrough. They'll look at the you know, insulation you have, how your windows are doing, uh, the leakage, anything out of the ordinary and they can give you a report. Uh, we could also give them uh, all of our bills to see if they can, uh, you know, figure out what our usage is, like they could probably answer the question why that bill's uh, so high. Uh, and then, again, that, that's free. The other one that's free is the web tools, and basically it's a computer program that we will actually, um, they will help us enter all of the information from all the energy companies into it, and it'll give you a nice printout which I have copies of uh, the demonstration of uh, how it looks. So, um, but that requires us to actually sign a binding agreement. Now, I don't know if anybody has um, Microsoft um, money or QuickBooks at home. It basically, you do your banking online, it goes to the bank, takes the information out for you, and it just inputs it on the program. Well, the web tool basically will do the same thing for us. Um, it'll will allow them to the SRPC and there's a, there's a Conservation Law Foundation to um, go in and get that information about the, our energy use and put it into a program to help us. But that's only going to be good for a year. She has not yet gotten back to me to tell me how much it's going to cost after that. So it's a free walkthrough and to start the process with the web-based tools, it's, it's also free for just for one year.
Is, uh, ETAP uh, team is comprised of the staff from 12 organizations. These are the people that are going to be looking at our energy use. These are the people we have to send bonding agreement to because they have to have authorization to go into our accounts. Uh, those people are the C CLF Ventures. It's a nonprofit consulting affiliate of the Conservation Law Foundation. There's also the Peregrine Energy Group. It's an energy consulting firm. Uh, also the nonprofit Clean Air, Cool Planet, and the nine New Hampshire Regional Planning Commissions. So there's people at the commission that would also help us do that. Um, does anybody have any questions about? What strings are attached? Right. Well, it's free up to next year. There's there, there really isn't any strings attached that I can see, only that after next year we have to pay for it. So by signing a, a binding agreement, that's there. That's not a. Uh, there's nothing attached to that other than we're allowing them access to this information. Correct. Well, as far as I know, which you may want to ask the lawyer about this, uh, a binding agreement just means like if I want to access your bank account, I can. But if you sign something, and authorize me to, you'd, you'd be allowed to. As far as I can tell, it's just um, a web-based tool that's available with grant money. And um, but like I said, we can go the web-based tool way, or we could just do have a, a walkthrough. Now, most towns have you know schools, libraries, gymnasiums, and everything. I mean, we don't need that. You'd have to you know look into that. We have, like you said, what three buildings? But we just got an we just got a bill here. For whatever reason, it's it's really high, and there's a question about it, so they can help us work that out. Um, Actually, it's only high in the context that we just changed from two meters to one. It's the same. It's almost the same amount as it was last one. Yeah, so it's either the free walkthrough, which is with grant money, or we you, you, you sign up using web-based tools. It's an interesting concept to, to monitor your your energy use, um, but it's you know it's up to the board to uh, decide if we actually feel we need that. From SRPC, Michelle All is supposed to come and meet with us and go through the buildings and uh, I'm trying to take advantage of them since they offered the free energy audit. It's a one-time shot, right? Yeah. There's um, no intention to continue in, into multi-year contract. Yeah, I understand you say that <clears throat> even with the one-time shot, with the, the only one year, that they have access to all the accounts? If you sign on to that. Two programs, two different programs. Two different okay, programs. So, so the access, the account, account access is the two-year program. Let me state the question. Bernie, all, all I've asked for is an energy audit this year. Now, I get a little nervous when people are wandering around uh, uh, my account. Yes, yeah, now, there's two different programs. One is just a walk-through energy audit, and the other one is a web-based toolkit where you input all the information into it, and then you're giving them access to those yeah. to those accounts. Yeah, we went through this last time. Yeah. Okay. It's the, the access is only so they have the authority to, uh, to via computer, go onto your accounts and pull the information. You can actually, if you, you can actually buy a program for about $1,200 or less, I think it's uh, $150, for your home. And you can actually have your own you, go, you call up the energy company and it, it gives you the information instead of sending you a statement. That's really right. all it is. Right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Tax collector. Um, yes, I am. Um, a couple things to just talk to you about. Um, one is that we have a... Um, uh, resident apply for a elderly and disabled tax deferral. Um, she has decided since then she does not really want that. It does not meet her needs that she thought and it is not what she thought it was when she first found out about it. Um, I'm telling you this because um, all she requested was that the interest that she paid while she was waiting for this to take effect, she would like to be reimbursed by the town. So I did give Mary Little a, a letter stating, stating this. Um, I think it's fair of her to, 
to request this because this, of course, all took place when we did not have an assessor clerk and everything just got all balled up. And in the meantime, she paid her taxes because she did not want to lien. And then she found out after the fact that, in fact, this deferral is a lien. It is a lien that has to be recorded at the Register of Deeds, so it was really defeating her purpose. Is that the $54 check? Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's one thing. The other thing is I am moving ahead with the piece of property that is um, due for deeding this year. It's due to be deeded after May 12th. I'm assuming that the bank is going to pay it, but assumptions are just what they say they are. We'll discuss it um, later. Also, um, the other thing I wanted to, to mention again was the two pieces of property that were taken out of current use, if anything has been done to decide yeah. on I got an email uh, that I will be talking about later on dealing with those two pieces of property. I'm not done digging yet. Okay, I'm not, so, sta I'm not staying, so... Um, I, I will get you an answer. I, I will get you an answer. I just wanted to remind you that... I was just waiting for them to get back to me, and okay. I'm not sure I understand their answer, and mm -hmm. I have now another question I need to ask. Okay. So, but I needed to bring it to the board's attention first. Okay, thank you. Virginia? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have anything except... Um, do we have the small tax maps? We have a set of small tax maps in the assessor clerk's office. Okay, well I have no accessibility to that office. So when people come in and they want to get a piece off the big maps and I tell them they have to trace it because I'm not taking the maps in here to photocopy them. So they say, well other towns have the small individual maps and well, we don't have them. Why don't yeah, we just put them in that uh, top drawer right under... Well, no, I don't think they should be available for everybody to just grab. Can we just make a copy for... The, yeah, we could make a copy for the office that she could... And they could tell me what they want, then well, I could make it. Well, some pages. We also have our tax maps. It's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, but it's... it's Jessica has that. That's nothing. Yeah, she has a set. Yeah, but she can make Virginia a copy, so yeah. Virginia has access to it. But we also have... They're also there. on the computer on the server too now. I'll have to take a look and then I can show her where you can actually pull that up. We're not, oh, but that, I don't know that's not connected to that. That office is not connected, not connected, to, not connected no, to the server at all. No, but at this one will be. Uh, this one will be. I but I don't know if we'll be able to get ac that. access to maps. So... We can put a top icon, something in the machine. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll look at that. Yeah, those aren't through. Those, those aren't. Through those aren't, those aren't the same maps. If that's through Avatar, oh, it's not. not. No. Cartographic. No. Okay. So you'll have to make her a copy of the maps. Okay. Yeah. We decided not to get the. Um, so it's different now. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you a copy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Jennifer. I don't have except the uh, website committee will be meeting. Um, <laughs> so. Which it's been on the agenda, it's just trying to find when, time. When, Steve when and I had had emails, he was gone away for four months since Steve's on the committee. Steve? Patrick, Patrick Quinn is on the committee. Okay. We had emailed um, about a week and a half ago and we're just trying to find a mutual time okay. to meet, so. Well, you're acting as if I'm the, the website police. No, I'm just, I, you uh, commented, so let me know. Yes, we're meeting. The reason Steve is on the committee is he had concerns as well. And we are trying to address them, but he took a vacation, so it slowed things down. I see. Boy, Steve. And I just got volunteered for the committee, that's why I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be watching. Okay. Jessica. But we'd love for some help. Like That's right. Oh, we forgot to tell you, if you complain about the website, you have to join the committee. I don't mind joining the committee. We would love you on the committee. I will email you if There you go. Okay. Let me circle that. Be sure we got two minutes. <coughs> Coleman, C O L. <laughs> okay. Jessica had nothing. Ag Commission. Nothing. Cable committee. Nothing. Cemetery trustees. How about the cemetery committee? The one that's looking for new space?